Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Bella. I hope you are having a beautiful, blessed day. I'm super happy to be here. So today the Lord has really put it on my heart to talk about forgiveness. I know nobody likes talking about it. I know everybody's like, but this, this person really hurt me. Like, no, I hate them. Like, I don't want to forgive. No, no. Well, I feel like this is a talk us Christians need to have. Like, it is so vitally important as Christians that we are different from the world and that we don't hold bitterness and resentment in our hearts. Because if we don't forgive other people's their transgressions, God won't forgive us. And that is so, so, so scary. So many people are deceived into thinking, well, this person, like, they, they did this to me. They did that to me. Like, you don't understand. I do understand. I've had people really hurt me in my life. And it was so hard for me to forgive them. But through the love and the grace of Jesus Christ, I learned how to forgive Honestly, guys, when you really understand what Jesus did on the cross for you, you're actually going to want to forgive because Jesus died for you. Ephesians 4.32 says, And be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. So in this Bible verse, it's really talking about how to live a holy life. And Ephesians is one of my favorite books because it has so many helpful things so this bible verse is really emphasizing be tender-hearted to one another forgiven one another just as god through christ has forgiven us and it's really a really valid point so god is calling us to be tender-hearted and forgiving people jesus has called us to be lights to people even the people that hurt us god has called us to love one another and be tender-hearted no matter what because that's how more souls are going to get saved. That's how the gospel is going to be preached. Because people will know we're different when we don't act like the world and hold bitterness and rage and wrath in our hearts. Don't hold that in because God will deal with it. You don't have to deal with it yourself. God will make things happen. And God, he loves you. So he's going to be faithful to you and he's going to give you the justice you want. Don't seek revenge. Because the Lord is going to do what he has to do. And the Lord, he'll make it right. Not in the way that you expect him to sometimes. The Lord wants us to be loving and forgiving. Loving and forgiving. Because that's who he is. In order to reflect the character of Christ, we have to reflect him in everything. We have to try to imitate him. Of course, we'll never be God. We'll never be Jesus. But we're called to live holy lives that resemble Jesus. So in order to do that, a part of that is forgiving because Jesus forgives us of our sins. And he literally died on the cross for us so he could forgive us. The least we could do is forgive somebody that hurt us personally because imagine you had to forget all the sins of the world. That is really hard and Jesus did it. The least we could do is forgive a few people that hurt us. Matthew six fourteen says, For if you forgive men their trespasses, also will your heavenly Father forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your heavenly Father forgive you. The thing we need to really think about here is that if we don't forgive people of their sins committed against us, neither will our heavenly Father forgive us. That's crazy when we really look at it. What we learn from Matthew six fourteen through verse 15 is that we need to forgive people. Forgiving people is so important to Jesus. He talks about forgiveness so much, so much. And it talks about forgiveness a lot in the letters to the church. Jesus is really serious about peace and forgiveness. You know why? Because he died for peace and forgiveness. That's what Jesus stands for. And forgiveness is not also only for Jesus' benefit. When we hold anger in our hearts towards somebody or some people, it makes our life miserable. We can never be peaceful. We can never feel peace when there's anger in our life. And God wants us to feel peace because we follow him and we're his children. So if you're holding on to forgiveness, it does not make you weak to forgive. It actually makes you strong because forgiveness is not an easy thing. It takes a really strong person to really forgive because it is not natural. The world does not like forgiving people. 
That's why God's children are supposed to forgive because it says to be set apart from the world. Don't, do not conform to the things of this world because the world is passing away. So God really cares about forgiveness and it's also to our benefit too because when we're holding on to that, it's really heavy. So if we just give it to God and say, God, I, I cannot hold this against this person. I forgive this person for what they did to me. I'm letting it go. I'm letting it up to you. And then, you know, forgiveness also comes with not gossiping about this person or talking about this person. Just truly give it to God and set those boundaries with your friends. Be like, look, for my own my own peace, my own sanity, my own my own heart, I'm not gonna do this anymore. I'm I'm a child of God. Forgive, but do not forget. Just because you forgive somebody does not mean you have to trust somebody or let them back into your life. Because God removes people from your life for a reason. But forgiveness is really, really important to Jesus. And I know I've been there. It's so hard to forgive people. It's not It's. It's not like an overnight thing. It takes, it's a process. It's a daily process of saying, God, I accidentally took this back from you, Lord. I'm giving this to you again. It's yours. Help me not want this anger back. Lord, help me forgive. And the, the Lord, he sees you trying. He sees you trying. And he's so proud of you. He sees you trying your best and your hardest to forgive somebody. And he's going to help you. Another easy way is to pray for your enemies. Because it really changes your heart posture towards them. If you're really having a hard time forgiving somebody, you need to humble yourself before God and pray for your enemies and be like, Lord, I wish the best for them. I pray blessings over them. Matthew 5, says, bless those who curse you and pray for those who persecute you. We have to. It's not like, oh yeah, do this so you don't go to hell. No, it's for our own peace too. And Jesus said to, we're supposed to forgive people and and be tender-hearted towards people because if we're not then the lord won't forgive us the lord won't forgive us and we better be careful who we judge or what we judge people for yes we're supposed to judge people that claim to be christians and are false prophets but if we claim somebody and we're and we're literally doing the same thing we are hypocrites and the lord is going to judge us on judgment day if we judge people for the exact thing so we do and if we do them we're, we're then called hypocrites we're hypocrites we're hypocrites so be very careful well alrighty, everybody i hope you have a beautiful blessed day and i hope this message blessed you now we need to be very vigilant in these last days make sure we forgive okay and make sure when you're in prayer today or tonight whenever you pray ask the holy spirit to reveal what person or what people you need to forgive and say lord Help me forgive him. Help me forgive him. You know, Jesus' words on the cross were beautiful. Forgive them for they do not know what they do. So ask the Holy Spirit to reveal who you need to forgive. And even though you say you forgive people, we all know sometimes those roots are still there. Those weeds in our heart are still there. So it's a process. It's a daily process of saying, Lord, help me forgive him. But anyways, guys, have a beautiful, blessed day. Goodbye.